Um, hi guys, and today I'm gonna try to quickly explain unions before uh, heading off into templates, which are a lot cooler. Unions are a bit old, so I don't even know if I should cover them, but I guess you should um, know how to use them and stuff like that. So I included iostream, the usual namespace std, uh, declare my main function which will go here and then I'm gonna have uh, I don't know let, let, let's use get char as always so we need to see uh, uh, input and output the construct right now we put get here and uh, return zero so that's fairly that's good so let's declare a union and a union is basically a conjunction of data types such as a structure or a class well no not, not exactly sorry but the difference between a structure and a union is that the union uh, shares um, it shares the computer memory between um, all of the objects inside the union so let's make a new union uh, I don't know union numbers right and inside this union we'll have string uh, string inside union numbers int uh, first uh, float second uh, double third so what I did by declaring this union is uh, I said I want a block of data uh, and this block of data could be sorry it could be graphically represented like this and say this is a byte of data right and an integer on my computer I think takes four bytes so uh, the first four bytes are belong to the integer uh, but a float I believe takes 8 bytes if I'm not wrong so uh, here's my integer here's my four bytes my first four bytes but my float takes up this memory so if I declare the integer and then declare float on top of it it's gonna overwrite the integer because it's using the same memory same as if I uh, here is the continuation and I don't know I can't count 16 here to 16 but this the double will take up the whole space of this uh, so this this could be if I um, this would be the integer this would be the whole thing I mean sorry this thing some, something like this would be the float and the whole thing would be the double so it's gonna share the memory uh, that's useful for um, if, if you're on a low memory computer and you need to use three data types you could uh, say union uh, my union or you don't have to declare one uh, so here you could say my union uh, first uh, sorry yes my union first equals five see out my uh, first is and then you you say my union first so that's good now we let's declare my union let's declare a double third equals oops and see out third is my union third Oh, sorry, let's put an endl here and endl there. Just so we can uh, separate them into lines. And after this, I'm going to put once again first is. So let's run this program. And uh, see, the first is 5. And uh, when, when I declare, oh, sorry. Uh, let's just make this smaller bit 
here it says first is five this is when I declared uh, the union my first uh, first uh, integer in the union as five so now when I look it up and when I see out put it into the output stream it shows up as five and that's what it's supposed to do now I declare my union third which is a double uh, now remember the double overwrites the memory of the first so now uh, when I see out the double it gives me the correct answer but when I see out the first it gives me the first four bytes of the double which doesn't really work with the other four bytes without the other four bytes so now it's uh, kind of messed up and so you can't uh, that keep that in mind with use, using unions now uh, why would you use unions well if you have say an array of a hundred data types so say you need a hundred uh, of and I need a hundred and say I don't know which what I'm gonna be using so let's make this uh, example simply see how uh, choose one for int two for uh, float three four double so and now we put int choice in choice uh, if you, you could put a switch choice I'll just put a switch statement here choice case one and I want to do say so uh, int I want to say numbers first Um, I'll try to initialize it with a simple so case two numbers uh, second sorry case three numbers third and we'll put breaks here and let's just uh, sorry let's just see out number one is numbers first let's pick an element from inside uh, so, so same thing with all the other ones so two more so numbers two three is numbers second third and let's put an end bell everywhere and simple as that so if you don't know which data type you're using, uh, let's see, it doesn't doesn't allow me to assign uh, to assign it like that. So now let's put number first uh, twenty six, right? Equals zero. So again, um, one second. All oh, right, sorry, we have to put my union here, which my union. So, because we declare the union, and let's do this. So here, also, and here, and now, uh, sorry, once. Okay, I changed all of the my, uh, them to my union, and now, say one. Oops, say one three, and uh, well, they're all initialized to zero. So let's put one 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 and now let's put 2 so now uh, 2 overwrote some of the memory of 1 1 went crazy and 3 still 0 because it didn't overwrite the, the 3 memory okay thank you for listening to this lesson and